morning, folks. Welcome to Cardinal Bistro. Welcome back. I should say it's been quite a while since I've done a, a bistro show, so I apologize for that. I've had a few of you folks come up in the community and uh, wanting to see another show. I'm sorry it's been a while. Uh, I've been very busy here throughout the district of uh, the schools and Case High Schools ke kept me very, very busy this year. A um, little overwhelming. I didn't expect to be doing so, so much. Um, and there's so much more that has to be done. So the Bistro Show went a little on the back burner. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed some of the things that I've featured so far this year. Um, Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving went by. Um, and Happy New Year in a few days. So I want to do a little recipe for you guys today. Um, I've seen a few of you folks out in the community this um, past Christmas at Christmas Mass, a few of you approached me and said, you're looking forward to the next show. So um, we got some downtime here this week at the schools and the kids are on vacation. And I figured great time to come in and throw together a little quick recipe for you and do a nice show. And uh, you guys can have some fun with this and hopefully use it in the next upcoming week for New Year's or whatever your plans are. You've got the company all week, or I know I do, from time to time coming in and out of my house. And this is just something to do with maybe some of your leftovers, and I can give you a few ideas of, of what to do with that. So a little quick funny story about some mashed potatoes. I brought my mashed potatoes in from home. Now, I made a big feast for Christmas, of course, right? I had not a lot of people. There were um, maybe about nine, eleven of us, and uh, I said I'm going to do some loaded mashed potatoes with my prime rib and my shrimp, and you know I, I go all out. So I said loaded mash, that's going to go nice with my my Christmas dinner, right? Now Karen was a little tired. Um, day before I had a lot of catering in. I cooked for about 200 people throughout the day. So come time for my loaded mashed potatoes, I'm half asleep. I'm going to do the mash. I start dumping salt into them. And holy low, I, I did too much salt. Too much salt in them. I stopped pulling the salt out. Well, mashed potatoes were done, tasted them. They were a little on the salty. To, so it was a little salty side. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do something with those. I think I can stretch them out with something. So I put the potatoes aside. And uh, we had salads and we had some sesame noodle salad. I had plenty of other stuff to go with my meal. So we put the potatoes aside and I said, I'm not going to waste them. I'm going to do something with them. So I'm going to use them today on the show. So I figured a nice way to use up leftover potatoes for you, an idea, but also a way to maybe correct a little mistake. Because we all make mistakes in cooking. Even I make mistakes in cooking. Everybody thinks that I'm this big pro, but I'm not. I make a mistake every now and then. When you're tired, you make mistakes. So they're not too salty, but too salty to just eat as mashed. So what I'm going to do is show you an idea how to stretch this to cut some of the salt. And I had a, a dear friend of mine years ago show me how to make some really great um, pancake potato patties. And they're wonderful when you do have a lot. It seems to me like mashed potatoes are always the thing we have a lot of leftovers on on a holiday meal. We always make too many potatoes. So a trick was to make the potato patties out of them. And you can make them, fry them. There's so many different recipes and they're, they're yummy. Potatoes are yummy. And you can freeze them. So you have them, if you've got a lot of potatoes, you can make a lot of potato patties and you can freeze them and have them. So you just yank them out a couple at a time. You're cooking pork chops, you're cooking steak, you're cooking chicken. You have potato patties with that, you freeze them, you got them. They're done. It's a quick thing. So I'm going to show you a little quick recipe how to fix that salty mistake, how to use up all your mashed and not throw them out, and have some quick stuff already done for you, frozen in the freezer, ready to use all the time. So hopefully you like it. Maybe you won't. Maybe you don't want to take the time, but it's easy. It's quick. You know my style, quick and easy, because we're busy. So here we go. And I'm going to have this recipe up for you. I'm going to write it out. We're going to have it printed, and, and you'll be able to follow this along. So watch me, and hopefully I don't mess it up, and you'll learn something. 
So this is going to serve 12. I'm going to show you 12 servings of this. So you'll have 12 potato patties when we're done. I'm going to fry up a couple to show you an example. I'm not going to do 12 today, but it'll make 12, and I'll give you the, the recipe for 12 servings. So we're going to measure out three cups of potatoes. I have no helpers here today, so I'm going to do it all alone. Everybody's on vacation. I'm kind of on vacation. Um, so nice downtime. I got jeans on. I got a half a uniform. So that's always nice. So three cups of my mashed are going in here. And you, as you see, Karen made a lot of mashed. I got enough to make, I don't know, 40, 50 potato patties, which I would do, take home, make them all, freeze them, and I'll have them. It's just like having a bag of French fries in the freezer. You got them. So then you want a couple of good, generous scoops of a nice cheddar or a Monterey Jack in here. Really whatever cheese you like. But a cheddar or Monterey Jack, a little pepper jack works good in here. Cheese is the way to go. So a couple of good scoops of that. One lightly beaten egg goes into this recipe. Two tablespoons of a diced onion. And I just, I eyeball it. You can measure it out at home, but I pretty much know what the tablespoon looks like. And then you want a half a cup of flour into here. Okay? That's important that you measure that on there. So get a spoon, and you're going to want to mix this up. Mix it up well. Make sure that egg and the flour are mixed well into this potato mixture. So this is simple, simple, simple. You can even make this mixture while your son or daughter are doing the dishes on Christmas for you, or Aunt Mary, or whatever. Get the kids in the kitchen with you on Christmas Day. After everybody's eating a big meal, it's good to work it off a little. And do your potato mixture right away. Maybe you can even have your niece or your nephew have you, help you make the potato patties at the end of the meal. And you just want to form little balls of the potatoes after that. Okay? However big you want them to. You can make small ones. I like them They're pretty generous. You can use a scooper, an ice cream scooper. You want to get that flame up pretty pretty good. So we're going to do a medium heat on this. And then dump them right into the pan. A little bit of oil in the pan. Medium heat. And you're going to fry them away. So I'll do four for you today. Maybe three, because I'm making some good sized potato patties. I'm going to let those fry right in a good amount of oil on the bottom of this pan. So not submerging them, but at least a quarter of a way up the pancake patty, the potato patty rather. So you don't want to saturate these because you don't want them sopped with oil. That'd be too much. So I would say you give them a good three, four minutes on either side. So it's funny being alone on it. I usually have someone to talk to. We have conversations. Here I'm alone today. I hope you folks at home have enjoyed some of the stuff that I've done. We've had our culinary class. The kids have really enjoyed that. And I've done the class with seniors, so it's been tough. They are very committed. They, they have a lot of things going on in their life as seniors. So a lot of them are AP students. So they got a lot of the, the big classes going on. And they've committed to the culinary class. And then at the same time, they have a, an AP science, an AP English class going on. So it's been difficult to uh, just get everything all in line all together. And so we're still, we're, everything's in the works.
So as these are frying, let's just give them a little, little push. Make sure they're not sticking to the bottom. Like I said, they're going to take about three or four minutes. And you can see they'll be getting golden brown on the bottom, just like a french fry does. And it's smelling wonderful in here. You want to make sure you give them enough time. We've added onion in here and the egg. You want to make sure the egg is, is fully cooked in there. And then the onion. We don't really want to crunch on an onion. You want it nice and, and tender. That smells so good. Your mashed potatoes have already been seasoned, buttered, of course, salted. Another thing you could do with these after they're done is serve them with a slice of turkey, maybe some gravy poured on them, like an, you know, an open-faced turkey sandwich, only instead of the bread you use a potato patty. So there's a lot of things you can do with these. They're almost ready to flip. Not quite. So again, I can go over the recipe. Three cups of, we want 12 servings out of this, three cups of potatoes, mashed, any way that you've done them, butter, salt, pepper, chives, bacon in there, and anything works on your mash. You're gonna do a couple of, maybe a half a cup of the cheese, any cheese you'd like. You're gonna do two tablespoons of a diced onion, um, one egg lightly beaten, tossed in there, half a cup of the flour, you're going to put oil in your pan, you're going to mix all of that up, and then put them into some small balls, and then start frying them up. After about three or four minutes, you're going to turn them. When they're golden brown on the bottom, give them a toss, fry them up until they're all golden brown on both sides. Very quick, easy recipe. They're cheesy potato patties, pancake patties, whatever you want to call them, and uh, I hope you folks enjoy this. Wonderful family, family time, get your kids involved. You know how I'm all about the family and getting, the, getting everybody involved at, in this. Something you can enjoy and have fun with, with your family. And folks, I hope you enjoyed this. This was my little Christmas blunder that I tried to fix, and I hope you enjoyed it. Happy New Year, and more to come. Next show will be with the kids, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, and Happy New Year. Thank you, folks.